Hello everybody. It's been a while since I've been on here, but I want to talk about an experience that I had today. So, I finally found a company I liked working for in the field of security. And my manager is one of those white entitled kind of people who be like, I am your manager, you do what I say. And I always told him, St please stop talking to me like that. Don't talk to me like a child. So I let him know things have changed. So you can either call me at work, call me at my other job, or call me on my house phone. So he's like, you messed up your pay, your pay on um, your paycheck. You didn't sign your timesheet. So I was like, okay, let me just um, return his call Saturday. Because Friday I worked my other job by the time... I got home, it was after 5, and I highly doubt he would have answered. So, around 1 p.m. today, I called him back. I was like, hey, I got your email. Um, I actually made a copy of the um, login, and I faxed it to the company. So then he was like, I need to have a meeting about the email you sent me. The email... I sent him, basically told him, like I've said before, I was like, I thought about the conversation we had, and you're right, I don't respect you, I don't respect you, because you call me a liar about my paycheck, I don't respect you, because every time you talk to me, you talk to me like I'm a child, and I do not let nobody disrespect me, not my mother, not my father, nobody and you're pissed off with me because I told you how it was when you messed up my check so I don't trust nobody I don't feel comfortable and you more than likely will never make me a supervisor because you don't fucking like the fact that I put you in um check about how you talk to me he's a really weird white dude he feels like I am white I am better and I will talk to you any kind of way hell no so then I call him back so just so you know, my house phone has a shortage in it. One of my children took the phone. I don't know if she took the um, battery out and did or wet it. It just has a shortage. It'll say not near base. And then it, if you call, I can't answer because it's dead. I don't know what she did to the phone, but it messed it up. So this person, and I'm going to play you exactly what his racist ass just said to me hold on give me a second you have two new messages monday 11 30 monday 2 14 p.m okay this is don rogers your manager um that's two times you hung up on me and it's not appropriate i need to contact the office to now have a mandatory meeting for an insubordination Please contact each other. Thank you. End of messages. Yeah, so like I said, I told his dumb ass my phone has a shortage, so it's not insubordinate. So he when he when I called him back, I let him know like um you're saying I'm insubordinate because my phone hung up. He told me basically based off the email that I sent him Thursday Thursday that he felt I needed to talk to HR. But I don't need to um go. So I was like, well, if you're going to have a, a meeting about me, you're going to have to sit here and you're going to have to tell me um when you're going to meet me. Because like I told you before, I work two jobs and I'm not willing to be late to another job to go to a meeting. So are you going to meet me at one of my jobs? Oh, it's not mandatory. I'm like, and again, you're still not listening to me. So then he's like, I allowed you to miss days first of all before i'm a worker before i'm a anything i'm a mother first so if my school son's child school says hey we need you to um we need you to come to the school because we have an issue with your child or we need to come to the daycare you best believe i'm gonna take the time off in advance and go because family and my my family to me i don't know about other people um, come first, I don't give a fuck about a job. I'm sorry, I don't. 
So he was like, well, I allowed you to get off work. First of all, by law, if it says I have to go to court, I have to go to motherfucking court. And any time that I've thought I was going to be late, I've called him and contacted him. I said, now you got me messed up. You sit here and talk to me like a child. I told you not to talk to me like a child because it's disrespectful. I don't let my mother, I don't let my father talk to me any kind of way. I'm tired of arguing with you. And guess what? I quit because I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. I don't give a damn that you're a manager. That don't mean nothing to me that you're a manager. Oh, I'm better than you because I'm a manager. I said, you need to learn how to talk to people and do right. At the end of the day, this is why your company has a very much high level of turnover because you treat people like shit. You got me messed up talking to me like that. So I'm not cool with that shit. I refuse. And plus, I'm not tripping. I have two jobs. Um, I only work exactly 16 hours a week. So it's no love lost. But the point is, um, I realize that job has caused me anxiety. And I don't have time to keep arguing with people. If I've told you, yo, don't talk to me like that. And every time I talk to, talk to this motherfucker, this racist white man, he always makes it seem as if um, I'm the child. He don't listen to shit I have to say. So the first time... We had a conversation. He disrespected me. So you're damn right I hung up on his motherfucking ass because nobody can tell me a phone I pay. If I'm like, yo, chill out and you're being disrespectful, you're damn right I'm going to fucking hung, hang up on your motherfucking ass. And I was like, oh, you don't have to worry. I quit. You treat people right. My thing is I'm a hard worker, but I will not and I will not stand to nobody who sits and fucking disrespects me. Y'all, you... Mr. Weirdo White Man got me fucked up all the fucking way. So, Monday, I'm going to go down to the office, and I'm going to return my uniforms. I don't give a fuck. Even if I was making a shit ton of money, you're going to treat me fucking right, and this is a problem. White people think that they are better than black people, and they think they could sit here and mistreat especially black people, you got me fucked up all the way, sir. I don't give a fuck with your racist motherfucking ass. People like you, I can't stand. It gets on my nerves, and it agitates the shit out of me. And I've let him know in two emails, hey, yo, it's not cool, don't talk to me like that. And like I said, by law, if they say Monday the 22nd, you have to be at, at court, guess what, my ass got to be at motherfucking court. By law, if I have family things to handle, he will be salty if I did a no call, no show. Oh, well, where are you? I don't give a fuck. This security company is very fucked up, and I'm just tired of the shit. And I was very offended when this motherfucking pale skin bitch told me basically that I was lying about my paycheck. Bitch, I know how much I make every two weeks. And, oh, I know it's stressful that if I can't get my motherfucking money I don't need to work and I told him I can't trust a company that doesn't pay me my money and guess what because my black ass says something um four other people aren't paid right but if I didn't say shit nobody else would get fucking paid like I'm tired of holding my tongue when I feel a certain way see before I get aggressive with somebody and how I talk I'm gonna let you know twice Yo, you tripping. There's been another time that I've cussed out a supervisor. Oh, you the fuck something? I said, who the fuck is you talking to? You're not going to sit here and motherfucking talk to me crazy like that. If you don't have shit nice to say to me, and it's another white man, don't say shit to me. You're going to talk to me fucking right. I don't give a fuck. But these pale-skinned devils think that they can treat people disrespectful. And on the site, I've heard the manager on site and a, a cop say some racist shit about Hispanics and black people. And that shit is very offensive to me because I have a family members who are Hispanic. And I'm just like, for that little ass money, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to find something better any goddamn way. I don't never <coughs> trip over shit I can't control. If I'm not happy, I'm leaving. I don't give a fuck. You can be mad. You can talk shit. You can say what you want. But it's the fact that his cracker ass never once respected me and had the decency to come at me correct because when you have a conversation with somebody 
it's two-sided and it's not I am the manager and you shut up. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and that motherfucking job. Plus y'all the th- y'all are the third top security company in the world. I don't give a fuck. You will fucking respect me. So because I'm that bitch, I will bring my uniforms back and let them know what up. I don't give a fuck. I'm so sick of fucking racist motherfuckers disrespecting black people. My parents taught me always to say how I feel and let it be known. So before you act a fool, you let them know, hey, this is not cool. And plus, there's nothing to say, you punk ass bitch. You're trying to set me up. I already know. And I told him, you're not going to make me a supervisor because you're mad that I told your ass how I feel. And I was very respectful of you. If I thought I was going to be like, hey, I'm about to be late, then the cracker tried to lie and say I was constantly late. First of all, last fucking week, the old man that works at night constantly locks the keys in so I don't have the police department that works with the company come and give me the keys. Because his old ass constantly loses keys and don't do shit right. I don't regret quitting that shit. I will not let no motherfucker disrespect me, whether it's my mother, my kids, or any fucking body, people. If you don't stick up for yourself and say how you feel, um, people are going to continue to walk all over you. And I'm one to be 100%, but people don't like the fact when you call them on their bullshit, and I will continue to be me. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful evening.